My name is Adam Drix. I'm an associate professor here in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at Loyola University Medical Center. I study bacteria. We're interested in how bacteria adapt to particular environments, how they survive in specific niches, and how they thrive in those niches. Now, the bacteria that we study in my lab are those that are able to form spores. So these are bacteria which, when starved, are able to form a specialized cell type. And in particular, they encase themselves in a protein armor. We work on a number of different bacteria. Uh, two that we focus on in particular are Bacillus subtilis and Bacillus anthracis. Bacillus anthracis is the causative agent of the disease anthrax and, of course, um, has achieved a lot of prominence because of its potential use as a biological weapon. Today, um, there's been another case of, uh, reported a case of anthrax. We have the person who, who committed those attacks and we are confident that had this gone to trial, we would have proved him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. While the FBI believes it solved the case, an attorney for the Ivans family says nothing could be further from the truth. The evidence does not directly tie Ivans to the anthrax letters, but with the suspect now dead, the government will never have to prove that link. One of the questions um, which is on the table uh, with respect to Bacillus anthracis and its ability to cause anthrax is how important are these armor plating structures in the ability of this bacterium to cause disease. The coat has this flexibility, it folds and unfolds like an accordion pleat. Well here are those folds. The spore um, interior, which is here, when it's dry, has a relatively uh, small volume. When this interior region um, senses food and revives, the first thing that it does is brings water in. Bringing water into the interior is essential to reactivate the life processes. When the water comes into this interior, this interior volume expands. When that volume expands, the coat unfolds to accommodate that increase in volume. Now, the next thing the coat will do is actually crack open uh, like an eggshell. It cracks along a circular seam and then liberates the now growing cell. We think this gives important information for developing future therapeutics because it means that future therapeutics um, need to anticipate the possibility that spores used as a weapon will lack some of these outer structures. Both uh, spores with and without these outer structures need to be considered when developing therapeutics against biological weapons. If reporting by the Los Angeles Times today is even remotely accurate, the questions about the anthrax attacks, which terrified this nation late in 2001, would seem tonight to have boiled down to three. First, was the anthrax sent by just one employee of our own government or more than one employee of our own government? Second, when the FBI missed an easy clue...